This is a review article on long COVID where ultimately chronic inflammation and microclot formation is making it so that blood is not being able to flow where it should and not enough of it is able to flow, resulting in brain, heart, GI, and eye problems. As of January of this year, 670 million cases of COVID have occurred, with 10% of them being long COVID, or 67 million. With the incidence of long COVID being reduced in those that have been vaccinated, and when you look at the article, it's reducing from 14% to about 9%. With the major symptoms being shortness of breath, chest tightness, mild to moderate fatigue, body aches, dry cough, fever, headaches, brain fog, chest pain, heart palpitations, cough and trouble breathing, cognitive impairment, tinnitus, vertigo, um, you could have erectile dysfunction or irregular menstruation, and then uh, all these are sort of exacerbated by physical and mental stress. What's even crazier is that these viral proteins have been found in the brainstem and in the cranial nerves during autopsies. So researchers are thinking that the virus is traveling within the bloodstream and entering the blood-brain barrier through weak points, where it can then invade nerve endings and ultimately disrupt the overall system. Essentially what's happening is that the central nervous system is being triggered then by a peripheral immune response to this virus within your brain which has been shown in the past to create sickness type behaviors such as decrease in general activity, decrease in exploratory behavior and social and sexual interactions, decrease in food and water intake, a preference for sweets and hedonic behavior, that's kind of interesting, as well as altered sleep and impaired learning where you're not able to learn new things as well as sleeping less and having issues with actually staying asleep. Major symptoms include post-exertional malaise, which is um, basically any sort of mental or physical stimulus. So just thinking really hard, exercising is going to cause you to get very tired you could have musculoskeletal issues and joint pain, eye problems such as blurry vision, difficulty focusing, difficulty tracking lines, uh, light intolerance, so that just means reading, uh, light intolerance and problems with your peripheral vision. And then you can have issues with POTS, um, orthostatic hypotension. So basically to put it simply, like when you stand up, your blood pressure will spike really rapidly and this could cause you to pass out. And beyond that, your ability to exercise uh, is going to be impacted because mitochondrial dysfunction is occurring with metabolic changes. So you're not gonna be able to do glycolysis. You're gonna have a higher lactic acid buildup in your muscles. So you're gonna get tired faster and um, you're not really gonna be able to recover as easily. And you'll have a reduced peak oxygen consumption. So again, this is gonna cause you to get to that state where you're not gonna be able to exercise. You're gonna cramp and things like that.